Well, thanks everybody for coming. I see some familiar faces. It's great to be down in Broward County, the land of the free. That was yeah. a joke. It's, not really that. it's really like the belly of the beast. It's probably the worst county in the United States in terms of the political culture, but amazing people live here and there's a lot of great Republicans. But there's just horrible, piss poor uh, uh, political leadership and some really bad, toxic, toxic uh, Democrats. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons I like to come here because we like to show that we we exist too. Yes, we do. Uh, the so finance, I mean, the finance thing. That's right, sir. There's a lot. So I'm Anthony Sabatini. I'm a state representative in Florida. I represent District 32. That's like the part of West Central Florida. It's all the suburbs of the West of Orlando. It is a very Republican district. Donald Trump won it by 25 percent. Yeah. And it should have been a lot higher if the uh, voting machines weren't the way they should. We want that interstate. We want that interstate. Yeah, and we we are going to yeah. do the interstate too. So. I think it's very fitting and proper that we're here at America's, uh, and you speak all national army, right? America's gun range, new title for the business, which is an amazing pro second amendment facility. Everybody come on in if you can. Yeah, you push push back. Push 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 the back. Uh, this is, this is what I'm really, you know, before COVID, it was what I was known for the most was the second amendment. Uh, I'm somebody who ran pretty much their whole campaign on the Second Amendment. I, I like to consider myself the most pro-Second Amendment elected official in the state of Florida. I filed campus carry, constitutional carry, bills to strip local governments from any power they have concerning the Second Amendment, including the uh, shutdown of arms of uh, sale of firearms and ammunition in Palm Beach County that we saw during the so-called riot this summer. So all of those bills, all of those bills you've heard about, those are my bills. And I think the Second Amendment is a fundamental right. That's why I've also filed legislation to uh, erase Florida's red flag law. If you know what the red yes. flag law is, it's one of the most disgraceful laws passed in the history of the United States. It turns the entire Constitution upside down. It's a law that says that the, a judge and a law enforcement officer can strip you of your rights based on mere suspicion that they consider you a dangerous person. You don't have to commit any crime. You don't have to say that you're committing a crime. Wow. They can just think that you're going to commit a crime, and then they take away. They have they issue a permit to take away your firearms. It's pretty much completely insane, and it's the law here in Florida. But the problem is, it's not that we don't have enough Republicans in office. It's just that we lack enough Republicans with courage, Michael. with courage like you people. The biggest problem we have in politics today isn't just the Democrats. Yeah, they're always going to be a problem, but they've always been. It. It's that our own elected Republicans lack a backbone. They lack spine. They lack you're right, you're right. Yeah. courage. They're very cowardly people. They're afraid of the media. They're afraid of the left. They want to make people happy. They want to be centrists. They want you know to bridge the gap. They don't understand that what the left did that made the left win so much this last 50 or 100 years is they fight. They fight harder than us. And with the exception of the people in this room, people like us, a lot of people on the right don't fight. The electeds don't fight. And there's a major disjunct. There's a major disparity between the people who are in office that are conservative Republicans and the ones who are in the base. The base, which is us, and I consider myself more of a, a, a base person than I do an elected official. We want to fight. We want to take our country back. But the cowards in political office don't have the gusto to fight. They don't have the cojones to fight. They'd rather just sit and take it lying down. That's why you don't see movement on important bills like election integrity, uh, Second Amendment, pro-life legislation like the Harpy Bill. It dies. All this stuff dies in the Florida legislature. And we see it in the federal legislature, too. So people ask me all the time, why are you running for office? They asked me when I ran for city commission, and I won. They asked me when I ran for state house, and now they're asking me again now that I'm running for Congress in Central Florida. They always say, why are you running? I always say... And it's very politically correct. It's not very pretty. It's very. It's not very nice. But I say it because it's the truth. It's because the people who are elected to represent us are cowards, and they suck at their job. That's right. And I'm yeah, running because we need to move on. Trust me when I tell you, I'd rather go shoot my gun on the weekend and hang out with my wife and go around sunny Florida to all these great restaurants and en enjoy my, my my life like I could. But I can't knowing that the people we have elected are cowards and they suck at their job. And that's why I run for office. I don't want to have to do it. It's the same with the lawsuits. People go, why do you sue 15 cities and counties? I, don't, I didn't want to sue all those cities and counties. I'm a busy guy too. I wanted to go do other things. But none of these attorneys were willing to do it. Nobody was going to do it. Nobody was willing to fight back against the radical left, which were infringing upon our liberties all year long. And so I did it. I yeah, did it. Yeah. And I'll always do the thing that, that I think that they should be doing. 
So, back to what I was saying. I'm running for Congress now. I'm running for District 11. Now, there's going to be redistricting in Central Florida. Nobody knows what seats are going to be where, but we do know we get two new seats in Florida, and both are going to be Republican, and they're both going to Central Florida, and I'm running for one of them. So, I would appreciate it if you support the campaign. Yes. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Anthony Sabatini. I'd love to earn your support. I've earned the support of a few people in this room as we travel the state fighting. Unfortunately, what we learned was that the judiciary in our state, our judges and our attorneys, were co-opted by the left, and they don't want to stand up for civil liberties. They'd rather always side with the government, always side with local government who want to infringe our liberties. But thankfully, our governor, probably because of the advocacy of some of the people in this room, did a 180 and clamped down on the local governments and stopped a lot of the nonsense that they were engaging in yeah. earlier. Uh, we love them. Uh, we love so, you. So, but now we need to make sure that DeSantis really clamps down on yes, these local governments yes. by taking away all of their authority to enact COVID regulations. Yes, all of their yes. COVID re regulations have had one effect. They've exacerbated the spread of COVID. Nothing they've done has slowed down or stopped COVID. But they get to go stand in front of the camera and act like they're doing all this stuff to keep us safe and ignore the decisions made by individuals when it came to the spread of COVID. So that's what local government does. It's corrupt. It's like the new, I call it the new mafia. I would know, I'm Italian. <laughs> I call it the, the new mafia. And they rob us of our liberties and then they take all the credit for everything that happens in, in, in society today, including all the gains in our economy. And it's sick and it, and it really bothers me. So that, I ramble, but that's a little bit what I believe and what I stand for. And I'd uh, love to earn your support, and let's shoot and let's eat. Thanks for coming.